Hello everyone, today we'll be going through two different ways to create a USB bootable device. The first being with the Windows tool, and secondly with Ventoy. Let's get into it. Open the link in the description and you'll see the three options. We'll be focusing on the second two for this video. If you're wanting to install Windows 11 onto your system that you're using right now, then you could download this tool and install on top of what you've currently got installed. We won't be doing that in this video. The other two options are creating a Windows 11 installation media. So you can just download the tool and create the media, or you can download the ISO. So we'll be going through these two options. Uh, so either download, if you want to just have it use the tool, um, download this option. And if you're wanting to get the ISO, which is more specifically for the second part of this video, you can select your download, which for this, there's only one option, download and download now. And it'll take you to which product language you would like for, I suppose, most people that'll be English. You can confirm. And then it gives you this link here for 24 hours. So you can download that. You can also verify it afterwards, but as you can see, mine is now downloading. As you can see, I have these two objects here on the desktop. This is the first one, which is creating the media tool. And the second one is the ISO. For part one, we'll be using this installation tool, which was the second option on the download page, which is to create the bootable USB device with Windows 11 specifically. Go through the options accept, accept, accept. Be aware, at this time, I do have my USB plugged into my PC already. You can then either use the options for this PC, as in the PC you're using to create this media. If it's not quite right, or if you want to change something, just untick that box, and then you can change the language. You won't be able to change the version, of course. And go next, and then USB flash drive. Be aware, it needs to be at least eight gigabytes. 2024 it's quite hard to find a usb smaller than 16 so you should be fine ideally usb 3 or above but usb 2 will work it'll just take quite a bit longer next select your usb device if you have multiple plugged in i would either suggest you unplug the ones that you're not using for this or just be very very careful about which drive letter if you're unsure you can open your windows explorer I have a few drives here, C, D, and E. It's only giving me E, which is the one we want to use. Mine is a 64 gigabyte USB drive, but like I said before, anything above eight gigabytes is fine. This is now going to download Windows 11 straight to your computer and use it to create the bootable USB drive. And then it'll begin creating the media device. And congratulations, you've created your own Windows 11 bootable USB device. File Explorer. Your USB device has been renamed. You'll also see that some of the space is being taken up with these files. You should be seeing exactly the same as me with these options. Um, and that's done. All you now need to do is put this USB device, unplug it, and plug it into the computer you wish to install Windows onto. The second method of creating a bootable USB device is Ventoy. Personally, I really like Ventoy for many, many reasons. One of them is the ease of use, as well as being a build a device that can boot to multiple operating systems, not just the one. If you go to the link in the description to Ventoy, you'll be able to download the Windows zip, and then click that download latest version. Wait a few seconds and your download will begin. And we can see it has finished downloading. Does it file? which means we will need to extract it. For this, I'm using a WinRAR. And this is the file structure. Make sure your USB is plugged in and run the Ventoy to disk. Make sure you're selecting the right device 
and that you choose the correct partition style for your system that you're going to be installing. More commonly is GPT, MBR is more older systems. Then go ahead and click install. All data will be lost and the device will be formatted. If there's anything on the device that you wish to keep, move it off the USB device before doing this. You will then get a second check. Really make sure that you don't want to lose anything on there. And then you can click yes. And you will get a pop-up once it's completed. Also gives you the ability to install an update if you've already got an older version on there. Because I've just installed the latest version, it shows the same number for both. Now if I open disk management, we will be able to see this drive here in multiple parts. This small 32 megabyte partition is the bootable section of the device, and this is where you store your ISOs. So if we grab the ISO that we've downloaded, again from the link at the start of the video, and open up the Ventoy partition and paste it here. The bigger your USB drive, the more ISOs you can store on here at one time. Mine being 64 gigs, that should give me enough space to have all of the ones I want. You can also store any other files you wish. Now regardless of whether you created the Windows bootable USB or the Ventoy bootable USB, you are going to need to enter the BIOS on the computer you're installing the operating system onto. Most systems you can access the BIOS via spamming the delete key when your computer is turning on. As you can see mine in the image shown on screen. Once you're in the BIOS, you will need to navigate to the boot priority screen. As you can see mine is in the middle of the screen at near the top. If you're unsure how to get to your boot priority menu, you can either Google your motherboard model number or your computer if it's a pre-built. As shown on screen, I'm hovering over the bootable media and its boot priority is third. I've then moved it to the first slot, meaning that it has priority over every other type of media so that it'll force boot to this USB device rather than whatever drive I have in my system. One issue you may run into when trying to boot to the Ventoy device for the very first time is in a blue screen with an error message reading a verification failed with the error code 0x1a security violation. To resolve this, it's very straightforward. Press enter, then select the option and roll key from disk. Go down to the VTOYEFI option and press enter on this. Then select the option and roll this key in mockmanager.cer. Continue and then reboot, and then you won't have this issue again. If you're using Ventoy, you'll be able to see the menu with all your ISOs. Because I've only added one, it only shows the windows. Hit enter, and then select boot in normal mode using enter again. And that'll take you through to the windows installation. If you're using the windows tool, it'll take you straight through into the windows and installation media without having to go through the Ventoy menu.